woke up this morning, my dream was boring Cause nothing happened at all Just a black hole in my body falling Screaming past the stars Then I heard my daddy call He told me keep my head up He told me grab a bible Cause Jesus is gonna get fed up He said when you at the top Just remember there's a bottom He asked me about them snakes And I told my daddy I got him I asked him about this lady That I'm deep in love with He said love is everlasting So she cannot call it quits But she did Cause that's what we ain't spoken Like eternity I know that hell is real Cause everything she say is burning me But I ain't been burning Cause she ain't said nothing at all I What up YouTube? This your boy down low back for another reply But before then let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry man So did you guys hear about a show last night That Schoolboy Q was about to do and shit When his SUV got shot upon and shit In which there's no fatalities Just a few injuries But then a picture surfaces of the police detaining schoolboy Q and then he sent the tweet saying that he's cool, don't trip on it. And which, I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, he's the motherfucking victim, right? Like, really need more information on this shit. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's replies to that Moshe Ambrosia featuring Dr. Dre, that's stronger. And you know what? The song begins off slow as fuck, you dig? But yeah. After a little bit of time, it definitely gets better and shit. And then Dr. Dre comes in and spits his voice. And you know, it's not all the time that we hear Dr. Dre voice. But every time we do hear one, you gotta ask the question, who wrote this shit? Because for Dr. Dre to write something that complex, and I'm not saying that it's a great complex verse by any means, but for a guy who hasn't put his fucking finger on the fucking keyboard to make a beat in like 20 fucking years, you can damn near guarantee that he ain't writing no motherfucking verses either. So who do you think wrote that motherfucker? And quite honestly, it sounds like something Kendrick would do, but just a watered down flavor to it. I wish to keep it 100. I'm not even mad at him for going ahead and getting some ghostwriters, man. Honestly, a bunch of motherfuckers in the game need to get some motherfucking ghostwriters, starting with Wiz Khalifa and shit. Because you look at it, what's wrong with these motherfuckers out here that's not fucking lyricists from getting ghostwriting material, you feel me? Because it does nothing but benefit them. First of all, it'll revitalize your motherfucking career. Look at Lil Wayne. Second of all, it's not that damn expensive. Third of all, you are giving opportunities for people to stack up their chips to make their way into the motherfucking music industry. You're giving people fucking opportunities. But yet people in hip hop are such fucking children. They can't understand the fact that motherfuckers been getting ghostwriters since the music industry started being the great conglomerate that it is right now. You feel me? We talking back in rock and roll. We talking everything including fucking hip hop, man. I mean, why would you not invest in making your product better when you fucks don't have the time to be writing like that anyway? And two, never wore lyricists to begin with. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPass.com. And today's article is about hating ass family, dude. Because let's keep it 100. Your family will do you just as motherfucking dirty as these dudes out here in the streets. And that's what's fucked up, you dig? Because you kind of expect that from just random dudes on the streets that don't give a fuck about you. You kind of charge that to the game. But the people that you've known since birth type shit, they'll do you that fucking bad. See, here's how your family be thinking, man. Because... They grew up with you, they raised you, they've known you from the beginning type shit that there's no chance that you're going to succeed before they succeed. See, and once you start to rise and they're not going anywhere because they're not serious about anything, man, then they become straight up fucking haters at you, you dig? So always beware of that shit, man. Don't ever think because they're your blood that they got your best interest in mind. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.